Well, our Lloyd Allen is standing by in studio sharing how some stakeholders are exploring the possibility of the lucrative yet controversial industry taking root here in the Bahamas. Well, Makushta, quite an interesting story there, and it's a topic that has increased in traction over recent years, with many individuals and countries exploring progress for marijuana, including its decriminalization and also the potential benefits of starting related industries. Now, earlier this week, I had a chance to sit with a local activist, Mr. Glenwood Ferguson, who remains convinced that economic woes could become a thing of the past for the Bahamas should government agree to approving a hemp-based industry. We have to hold the government's hand. Not to say that we want to take over and we want to force our beliefs in, into them, but we want to sit down, we want to sit at the table, and we want to discuss these things that benefit all of us. In these couple of months, it has, just has been granted in the US, United States to federally research cannabis. So you're uh, saying then that Bahamians who obviously with the cannabis not being legal here in the Bahamas, uh, people can prep themselves prior to the legalization of that industry to work as professionals in that industry. Yes, what I'm saying is you could go, anyone, any person right now could go online, search cannabis schools, and you could now prepare yourself for the, this emerging and this dynamic industry that is to come. Now, obviously, uh, as we spoke earlier, uh, there are many industries uh, as we develop this cannabis cannabis uh, and hemp industry, uh, there are many professionals who are set to benefit. Um, you say that's because uh, in pre-existing structures, they already do. They already do. You you got like HVAC, you got security, you got lawyers, you got doctors. It's important to also recognize and understand the conversation that's going on regionally when it comes to legalizing cannabis. Uh, I've been to Jamaica. I've seen what they're doing in, doing in Jamaica, but uh, share uh, with Bahamians what's happening uh, from what you've seen around the region. Well, right now, from what I'm seeing, and I've, I've been to Jamaica, I've been to Canex, so only Bahamian there represented there. Uh, and what I've got from them is, listen to me, we want to help you guys. Don't do what our countries did. If there's a top three as we walk away, a uh, tip uh, for persons to know and understand uh, are the value in a cannabis or hemp industry, what would those top three um, points be? We have the mass for it. We have the population for it. We have the structure for it. Let's grow hemp. Here in the Bahamas and here at ZNS, we're not encouraging the use of marijuana, but as this discussion heats up, government is moving ahead with draft legislation for medical marijuana. However, a presentation will be made to Cabinet first, and once approved, public consultation could begin in a matter of weeks. Now, that's, of course, some good news for those persons out there who utilize the use of marijuana in its many forms. Makushla, 